Pro on CNBC, first in business worldwide. Mongolia is in focus, the uh, resource-rich country opening up further and further for investment. A recent setback, though, the reported delay of the much-awaited uh, initial uh, public offering from miner uh, Erdens Tavan Tolgoy, which has one of the biggest coking coal uh, reserves in the world, the delay underscoring the challenges faced by uh, democratically elected politicians in the nation as they wrangle over how best to uh, tap the wealth of the country with elections coming up in June, the decision-making process to seems to be slowing down for more on the investment climate there. But Travis Hamilton, Managing Director, Con Investment Management, is with Juve and myself from the SGX. Travis, good morning to you, sir. Uh, welcome uh, from uh, Juve and myself. So it looks like the, the whole country and the whole process is in a bit, bit of political limbo until probably, I don't know, latter part of uh, summer, or, do you, or can we ignore those noises? No, I think um, that's exactly right. We have seen the delay of the uh, Odin's Tavern Torgoy IPO. Uh, the government, I believe, was trying to really push that IPO through before uh, the general elections that are going to be held in June. Uh, I think now it's quite clear that that will be postponed uh, probably until third quarter. Uh, but the government uh, elected, uh, whether that is uh, remains the People's Party or the Democratic Party, I'm quite sure there won't be any significant policy shift and the IPO will push through in, in Q3 or at the latest, I think, Q4 of this year. It will now be a triple listing uh, across uh, the MSE, uh, LSE, as well as, as Hong Kong. Okay, uh, let me bring Uwe right into this conversation. When yeah. you think of Mongolia, what do you think? Do you think, oh, very investable, a lot of potential, a uh, place you want to be in a one when it's still a frontier market? And, uh, you know, propose a question or two or ten to Travis. Right, well, it's uh, sitting right on top of uh, one of the world's biggest markets, so uh, it, it has uh, enormous potential. Uh, I, I think the main uh, question I'd like to ask you is what do you think of the uh, sort of energy potential up there? Um, the, one of the problems would be to get the energy from Mongolia uh, in, into China if you're creating, if, depending on the kind of energy you're creating, right? So what, what's the story there? Look, that's right. Uh, Mongolia has an incredible resource endowment, uh, although the country does remain to date relatively infrastructure poor. Um, the uh, Tavan Tolgoi coal resources that we touched on earlier, uh, that's an estimated uh, reserve of approximately 7.5 billion uh, metric tons of coal. Uh, it's predominantly coking coal with some thermal coal. Now those assets are very close to the border with China, uh, about 240 kilometers away. Um, in addition to that, we have a number of other resources uh, that will uh, travel south um, to China. China presently uh, consumes just over 90% of exports uh, from Mongolia. Um, at the moment, most of those resources are traveling across the border by road. Uh, however, there are significant infrastructure developments um, uh, in planning and process, and some are being commissioned. And you're right, at present, it's that lack of infrastructure that to date remains really the only impediment for China to actually acquire more resources uh, from Mongolia. Travis, uh, in terms of sectors, what uh, what is the most ripe? What is the most underinvested under right now? And uh, there are a few which you look at, of course. Uh, construction, uh, materials, power generation is going to become more and more important as they uh, build more transport links and need to get the stuff out of the ground to the intended uh, place. So I guess you could say the transport and power generation go hand in hand there. But what do you think is probably, what do you, what do you think, uh, you, you know, to you, uh, represents the greatest opportunity right now? Look, um, it, it, it's difficult to pinpoint one specific area because there are so many sectors of the economy that are, are growing so rapidly. Um, financial services sector last year grew approximately 70%. That's an area that we like, although it's been challenging for us to actually gain an investment foothold uh, within that sector. Uh, you may have uh, heard uh, last month um, that uh, Goldman Sachs actually acquired 4.9% of the Trade and Development Bank uh, in Mongolia. We have a similar opportunity presented to us uh, where hopefully we will be able to invest in financial services in, in the coming months. Um, beyond that, there are you know, pockets of uh, mining opportunities from exploration through to development and in fact some uh, developed, some um, uh, producing uh, mines that, that we're also invested in. Um, building materials unquestionably is an area where uh, we have a significant interest. Um, there is a significant um, building boom going across the capital, Ulaanbaatar, but beyond that, you know, the mines also require significant and development uh, themselves. So I was getting back to the uh, uh, question about the financial sector. How do you get the money out? I mean, if, if uh, whenever you are looking at the investment in the financial sector, that's the big question that foreign investors have. 
give us a quick overview of uh, where we stand in terms of financial regulation, in terms of currency regulation and so on and so forth uh, at this point in time that makes you think that investment in the financial sector makes sense. Sure, look, it is, uh, it is very much a developing story. Um, there are uh, significant developments going uh, across with regards to um, uh, the regulatory environment, um, the legal framework, um, the, uh, uh, the Financial Regulatory uh, Commission is working very closely with the Mongolian Stock Exchange, the Central Bank, the Government, the Ministry of Finance in order to develop really an entire new framework uh, across the, uh, the capital market for, for Mongolia. Um, with regards to currency, it's a free-floating currency. Uh, there are no capital controls, um, there are no restrictions on foreign investment into Mongolian companies, which is very attractive uh, for, for us in, in terms of accessing um, any Mongolian investments. Travis, appreciate your time, okay? Uh, always nice to put Mongolia on the map there. Uh, just ahead, thermal coal could set, be set for a boost as uh, the Chinya market start restocking. Uh, we'll talk to our next guest about topics in this space and how sexy it is next.